Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing and exploring about a very important tool that is Swiss ADME. So if you are a student or researcher who needs to deal with drug designing, bioinformatics, chem informatics, so then the session would be very important. I will be giving you the practical demonstration also. So stay tuned and let's start the session. Swiss ADME is a bioinformatics tool that predicts the absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion which in totality called as ADME properties of a small molecule or chemical. This properties is very important when you have to deal with drug designing and to predict the values of pharmacokinetics. In drug designing, pharmacokinetic is a study of how the body process a drug. This include how the drug is absorbed, distributed, metabolized and excreted by our body. Understanding pharmacokinetic is important in drug design because it helps the researcher and scientist to predict how a drug will behave in the body. In a simple language, pharmacokinetic helps the drug scientists, pharmacists and bioinformaticians to understand how a drug is absorbed by the body and where it goes, how it is metabolized and eliminated how long it is going to stay in the body. These crucial information will help us to design a safe and effective drug. And for predicting such parameters, you can use a wonderful tool that is Swiss ADME. It analyzes the chemical and molecular feature of the compound to predict its ADME property. This information can be used to guide and design and develop new drugs. If you are a beginner and if you haven't used this tool, in pass then you can use this link and you can come to this web page and then you can try out this tool for predicting the ADME value. To use this tool simply you need to upload a file containing the chemical structure of your compound either in SDF or SMILE format and then the tool will predict all this ADME property. So you just click on the link which I have already provided. Go to the predict button. There will be the features to provide your file format. Once you will upload the file or maybe smile information, you will be able to view the predicted ADME properties of your compound. Uh, this will include various factors along with the Lipinski rule also, which is a key values for your pharmacokinetics. The tool also provides a detailed analysis of the results, including a breakdown of contribution of different molecular features. This can be useful for understanding the factors that affect the compound ADME property and for guiding the design of new compound with improved properties. There is also an option to download the results in the CSV or GS1 format, which can be used for further analysis and visualization. Swiss ADME is a powerful bioinformatics tool which can provide you ADME values. They provide you user-friendly interference and also a comprehensive analysis and result. I would suggest you to use them for your drug discovery and designing projects. Let's see one demonstration here. I will be using the smile information of vitaferrin, which is a very significant phytochemical that has therapeutic uh, effects. So I will be using that. The smile information of vitaferrin, you can get it from the PubChem. I have already shown in many of my past tutorials. So just bring that uh, smile information of your chemical compound and then we have to paste it and then we will do the ADME prediction over the Swiss ADME. You can get all the values related to your ADME and also Lipin C rule. So whether your drug is having drug likeness property or it doesn't have or maybe it is violating some of the parameters, all such values we will be getting here. So let's start the demonstration. So this is the with reference smile information I'm pasting here. So this is the result and these are all the crucial information and you can see how it is following the Lipin C rule and all the crucial factors and parameter. So here's the ADME analysis report. This you can utilize for your research projects. You can try this tool with your chemical compounds and molecule and drug candidate. I hope you have liked the session. If you have liked the session, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.